Where everybody? That was weird. That was weird. I know that was weird. Let's try that again. I just want to know a whole episode of nothing but me saying hello in different ways. Like, hello, hello, guten tag. <laughs> just all over the place. Bonjour. Bonjour. Um, but no. Uh, hi, everybody. It's me. It's Matt. Here with Monarchy Media. Doing some downtime with devs. Playing more of that ever charming Wintermore Tactics Club. God, I love this game. Like, I am, as a game developer, I am jealous that I didn't, I wasn't part of making this game. Like, understand that for me to get jealous about something like this instead of just viewing it as like a, that's something I want, I want to use as inspiration for something of my own. No, this is like a, God, I wish I made this game, this exact game. But no, uh, I love this game. Anyway, how are y'all doing? Hope you're all doing, having a good time during this, uh, forced house appreciation time. I think that's what I was, I've been calling it. I want, I want to do what Game Grumps does, call it the Backstreet Boys tour, but, uh, I don't want to steal their bit. Anyway, it is time to write Batu's story. Wait, no. We will do that after the side quest for, uh, Colin. All right. We'll do it later. Right now, we're going to go and help Colin with his bu his bully issue. I did promise that this will be much more uh, of a... Uh... Oh, there's a side quest here, too. We will get more progress done. I swear it. It's very weird that the auditorium is in the admin building. That's weird to me. You would think that the auditorium would be part of the main campus building. Uh, do I talk to... What the hell? Well, the principal said I had to stop hanging out in the auditorium with, Je with Jethro now that the club is disbanded. He can take away my caveman club room, but he can't take away my caveman heart! Okay. This is Jethro, I assume. Speed of sticks! I can't believe we were defeated by the Snowball Warfare Club! Who could have predicted? See, right? He gets it. He gets it. And he doesn't get it, but the game gets my thought process there. Um. Oh, this is glowing. Let's see here. Aha! This is perfect. Exactly what I need. I just need to meet Colin over where those bullies hang out. Well, I don't think I don't see you take that, Alicia. I'll allow it this once, since you've done so much for the student body. And also because we're not allowed to put up any Shakespearean histories anymore after the incident. It's true what they say about Macbeth. Everyone dies. Master of Props is an ancient respected title. In old walls they used to give it out all weapons and armors. Hey everybody, I wrote a song. That's nice. We'll put it right here. Right on the fridge. That's one of my favorite Family Guy bits. Just, uh, Ringo writing Yellow Submarine. <laughs> uh, it's so freaking true. Uh, why would I be going to the... Okay, hold up. Side quests. There's just that. Oh, but these are all, like, main quests. Ooh, there's a lot there. Well, let's go here. We will talk to, uh her later. I can't believe I just blinked on her name. I just said it like 10 minutes ago. Anyway. Oh, hey, Scout, look. It's that nerd. I bet he's got some books. Oh, oh forgive me. Seems you dropped the real solid gold crown, your majesty. What? Alicia, you know I'm here in secret. While we're at the school, no one must know that I'm secretly the heir to the throne of Bolgordia. If anyone found out, they'd never stop asking me to grant them favors using my excessive power. I would never get any work done. I must continue to pretend that I'm some kind of helpless nerd. Oh, of course you're- I mean, Colin, how silly of me to have forgotten. A thousand pardons. Ah, uh, hey, go. You remember what you were saying earlier? Yeah, yeah, I remember. You think maybe, maybe we should get out of here? Oh, uh, 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 it's about Moose. 
I'm honestly almost disappointed at how easy that was. Maybe we'll just move on to bullying someone else. Well, I don't know. Maybe they learned something? No, they didn't. Always never learn. Let's be honest. You can... I know that they say, oh, bullies are only acting out because of troubled home lives or anything like that. It's crap. It's crap. I've been bullied by all sorts of people. They find someone who is weak to make themselves feel better, not because their home life is bad, but because they want to rise in the social status of their social circle to make themselves look better so that they have the power over more people. That is what they do. It's why they do it. And they're despicable human beings. And they do not learn their lessons, even after high school. Even after wherever you had to deal with a bully, you'll contact them again and they'll say they're sorry, but then they will go back to the exact same behavior. Trust me, because it happened to me recently on our live stream and it was kind of despicable. Luckily, I paid them no attention and they just stopped uh, putting stuff in chat. Or one of our awesome moderators took care of it. Either way. Um, but yeah, bullies suck, and they'll never learn their lessons. They're despicable human beings, and I do not understand the whole concept behind trolling and bullying. Like, why, why purposely piss someone off? It just, I don't get the mentality behind that. And I know I just explained why they do it, but it's still like, how do you not feel bad about it? Anyway, we can only hope at least they won't bother you again for a while. And hey, this thing might come in handy again. Oh! Oh, it's like an actual- oh, cool, okay. Uh, Stun Hammer Slam becomes Thundering Thane Hammer. Magical attack with chain- Yo! His ult becomes a chain, which with Magimist- Yeah. Yes, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Oh, crap, I just skipped dialogue. Sorry. Ah, uh, thanks for the help, Alicia. Even though I still can't believe it worked. Yeah, I can't either, in all honesty. Alright, alright, we gotta- We gotta check that out. Hold on, hold on. God, I wish we got more. See, we only get one equipment slot, which bugs the absolute crap out of me. It makes me wish we either got more or we could like fuse these items together. Like all three of these are defensive, right? So either you fuse all these into one, you get some sort of bonus by equipping all three, or I don't know, maybe some of the, like all of these go together. Like, look at this. Ed, uh, Eobald's basic attack to cause enemies to deal minus one damage for one turn. Eobald's basic attack gives plus two tactics points if he was attacked last turn. You know, make sure that they attack you, and, uh, uh, and, and then it deals less damage. And then the thunder... Okay, this one doesn't quite go with it. No, it gives them that thing that makes them deal less damage. I remember. It totally does go with it. It 100% goes with it. Uh, the, uh, dizzy effect, or stun effect, what is it? Daze, daze, lose one movement, deal minus two damage. Yeah, so these all go together. Uh, freaking becomes Righteous Tempest, a physical attack, which hits enemies in every direction. Eowald gains plus one movement and plus one push on his basic attacks. You combine these together, and he has a global knockback. Like, there has to be a way that these coincide with one another. Like, they're just, there has to be. Oi, Alicia, I have an important quest for you regarding that artifact. Uh, quest? Like a cat quest? You can see. Exactly, like a CNC quest, except the true world. Scarlet has devoted her life to study of stranger artifacts and their unearthly resonance. She's normally here at the stadium, but she appears to have wandered off. Find her, take the tiny plastic statue to her, and she'll read its aura. You seem pretty gung-ho about this. Absolutely! fate of the very school is at stake, friend Alicia. Did she just say friend Alicia? Now why does she have another thing on her head? Oh, hello, Alicia. I was doing nothing suspicious. Well, now I'm... It's immediately suspicious. What do you have... Wait. Are you still detecting... detective Ing? Isn't that not allowed since your club got disbanded? Ah, uh, technicality. The case of the witching hour doesn't fall within the principal's jurisdiction. Or involvement in... Deeper than a mere club activity. Our involvement is deeper than a mere club activity. Still, the principal doesn't seem to too sensible about this. Wouldn't it be safer not to? Hmm. 
Your concern for my well-being is admirable. Very well. I accept your kind offer. Uh, wait, offer? <laughs> yeah. Alicia, you and I say one way. I see that you, t you have cleverly noted the loophole in the principal's decree. Although I, as a former member of the psychic detective, can no longer pursue my sleuthing, you are under no such injunction. Oh, uh, I don't know. I cannot move, but all the same, my action built this land. Why does that sound familiar? I rise, rise above my famous name, inside the four I stand. Sounds less like a hint and more like a riddle. Are you giving me a riddle? I can say no more. Be off. Godspeed. What was the riddle? Well. Oh, wait, what the hell was the riddle? Alright, well, let's go talk to Scarlet. Oh, we can sleuth on them. Oh, it's the statue right there. Lost them, the New Wave Appreciation Club. How did they get over to that part of the quad? That's funny, because when we first started, I was trying to get over there. I was like, why can't I get over there? How do you get over there? And I thought going around would work, but yeah, no, okay. I don't know, but it looks like they're having a meeting. If we can watch, that'd be some valuable intel. Aww. Drat, I can't see anything over this wall. Colin, Jacob, anything? Hmm, I don't think so. Wall's just a little too high. I knew I should have gone through with my plan to take out a brick every day and see how long before people noticed. I could try to put you on my shoulders? That sounds dangerous. Maybe we could find a step ladder or something. Hmm, I think there was one with the theater props in the backstage room. They keep the costumes and stuff? I think I'll grab it. Oh yeah, sounds okay, sounds good. What are you gonna back here? I don't see how the step ladder. Alright. Progress is being made. And I did oh, there's an equestrian club guy. Oh, listen, I'm not mad. I'm not so mad about losing. I could split. Nope, that's the wrong voice. Uh, now I'm just a country southern lawyer. Fuck. How, er, oops. Sorry. Uh, Tucker, bleep that one out, please. Sorry. How did I do? Oh, shuck. Listen, I'm not so mad about losing. I, I could spit. But I know the tournament wasn't your call. Okay, he's sensible. He gets it. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is where Janya wanted me to go, but does she expect me- What does she expect me to find here? This looks like some sort of horos horoscope riddles? When Aquarius is in the fourth chamber, the white lion shall turn the scorpion gold. This is Janya's thing, right? She'll understand what it means if I bring this back to her. Okay. Then I have to show you this. Hey, don't you usually hang out over by the stadium? I sense an aura of pernicious evil lurking around this campus. I am attempting to track it down. I see you have brought me an artifact of knowledge. I guess I'm just don't ask where I got it. Oh, great spirits, let the streams of past, present, and future Blow forth and through me. Uh, you're not some summoning some kind of eldritch force, are you? Yes, Cthulhu is about to show up. Because I'm not really here for eldritch summonings. Shh, the artifact speaks. This object was the source of great strife. This object is the source of great strife. This object will be the source of great strife. I see a room in the past. I see a fight, long time friends, torn asunder by a dark force of jealousy and hatred. I see suspicion, paranoia, persecution. I see a dark force rising into the world. I see, oh no, I see. Ah! Huh? Scarlet, are you okay? This is an object of overwhelming power, Alicia. You must guard it very carefully. Darkness approaches, and only a flickering candle flame remains to hold it back. If it's really that bad, shouldn't I do something with it? What course of action does your intuition demand? I don't know about any of this. Maybe I should learn more about this figurine. Who is the pyramid guy, even? I guess I could go to the library, see if I can look up any information. 
Then so you must. Your actions will determine our future, Alicia. Well, that was dramatic. Uh, right. Got you. Hey, Johnny, I found some Zodiac riddles. Were these what you were looking for? Oh, God, she becomes a Zodiac killer. <laughs> no, uh... Didn't... Wasn't there something where, uh... Trump called Ted Cruz's dad the Zodiac killer or some weird crap like that? Oh, God. The shape... The, 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 the events of the world over the past, like, ten years. Anyway... You don't need me to solve these two, right? Excellent. I thank you. These notes provide conclusive proof that the one attempting to communicate with an astral entity was none other than the mayor. The next step of this mystery surely awaits me at the town hall. Since that's not on campus, there's no rule preventing me from following it myself. Um, is there anything else you need help with? I have given the matter deep consideration and will not ask you to assist further. You must focus your energies instead on the vital work of the tactics club. Um, I appreciate that, but I don't know if I would call CNC vital exactly. I mean, I think it can help people, but we're not out solving mysteries or rescuing people from danger or anything like that. <laughs> Nonsense! Dex Club is crucial and sensible training. The world is full of these prepping, preparing to pro. <laughs> the world is full of those prepping to protect civilians from fire, wolves, or other dangers. Well, who else will they turn to when they need to fight trolls or space wolves or other supernatural forces of evil? Uh... Tactics Club provides its members with important experience and a unique skill set. Never underestimate its value. I personally have become much improved as a person since joining it. Thanks, Janya. Woo! Gain power word. Persevere, a limited ability that gives an ally plus one damage and a second attack if they KO an enemy. Holy crap! Um... No, wrong button. Character sheet. Uh, was that just for Janya or was that for anyone? Just for Janya. Okay. What does she have going? Power report, eliminate ability that grants an ally plus three physical armor and plus three magical armor. Giant basic attack has an enemy deal minus one. Gain power word, persevere. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, yes, please. What is this? These enemies deal plus one damage to their allies. That's good, but. I prefer that. See, this is why I think you fuse hers. Why, why you fuse them and not actually, like, equip multiple. Because she has three. Whereas he has, like, look at the numbers on these. They just, they don't match up. You know? I don't know. I don't know. All right. Do we want to do the library thing right now? Oh, it looks like we are. Uh, there's something so weirdly familiar about this thing. Haven't I seen it somewhere before? Scarlet said something about trusting my intuition. I guess this guy looks kind of like kind of ancient god or idol. Maybe he's got pillars and stuff. Maybe I should try to find books on old mythology? The card catalog says mythology is in section 914. Yeah, no, we're not going to do that right now. That's, that's too deep. What's... Oh, no, we have to go right... Um, Batu story. Hold up. Yeah, I'm getting that cursor out of the screen because it's just bugging the crap out of me. Okay. Ooh, I am running out of breath. Okay, Batu, Batu, he seems really shy. I need some way to draw him out of his shell. Oh my god, Batu is actually Todd's secret admirer. I had it wrong the whole time! <laughs> no. Anyway, uh... Maybe his character has some kind of secret. He has to learn how to trust the party enough to tell them. I know he really likes horses. Maybe there could be some kind of secret magical horse, like one where it requires friendship to be magical. Hmm. No, uh, horses that are part dragon. Ooh, that's cool. Horses that unicorns and also pegasi at the same. Nah, horses that are also ocean spirits. Ooh, that's cool. 
Pure horses. Avatars from the elemental plane of horse. Secret order of martial arts horses. Yeah, uh, ocean spirits, part dragon. Ocean spirits, part dragon. I'm gonna go ocean spirits. That just sounds cool. Like, because, okay, so horses in mythology, Poseidon created the first horse uh, in Greek mythology. Except for it wasn't really a horse. So he was trying to impress someone. I cannot remember who. Uh, and they said to him, all you create is monsters in the sea. Create something beautiful. And so he created the horse, except, you know, I want to look this up so I don't get this wrong. Because I, I, I know this is a thing. Uh, it, it's like, look up a picture of this thing. I'm, I'm not going to force, uh, Tucker to look through this. Uh, there's a horse fish thing that he created. Uh, half horse, half fish. There it is. Hippocampus. Yeah, the hippocampus is what Poseidon created. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that just, it's so fitting. Ocean spirit, horse, they just, hmm. All right, yeah, perfect. I'll call them Ushkias. Hmm, why you gotta make it complicated to say? Now I just need some reason why the horses have to be kept secret. Some kind of prejudice where most people think they're evil. People would definitely hunt these creatures down and use their parts for magical ingredients. If corrupted, I bet you could turn them into powerful weapons. I mean, no one really believes they exist, so if you talk to people... You know what? I like the, I like the prejudice where most people think they're evil. I like that. But yeah, I think I like that. Now, what next? I guess, because that's like, that's a real way to keep it a secret. Like, if they're used for magical parts or whatever, people know about them and are just like, they're poached and whatnot. But like, if people think they're evil, it's not just poaching, it's like extermination. And if you had to protect those horses, that's like, yo, you can't let anyone know. I guess Batu character needs some backstory with Ushkias. He needs a good reason to protect them. Could be the sole survivor of an order of knights dedicated to protecting the Ushkias. Maybe he was secretly raised by the- No, that was stupid. What if he's from a secret village where he's been chosen as ceremonial emissary to the Ushkias? That's... Eh... I don't know, if it weren't like horses, I'd say that's cool. Maybe one of the ancient ancestors was actually Ushkia. Would that be too weird? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go with Order of Knights. Because, like, that's deep-seated tradition. That That's good writing. That'll do, I think. Because, like, that really means, like, you can't convince them otherwise. Like, being raised to protect something, it creates an instinct, you know? It's like an older brother... Uh, that doesn't work. Yeah, not every older sibling protects the... Well... Enough about that. Uh, I guess the last thing is, if he's going to have to confess his secret at some point, he's going to need a reason why he can't just fix this himself. Maybe some kind of super powerful villain is captured in Ushkia, like... Evil Witch, Skeleton Queen, the villain I made up for Janya's adventure, Rule General from the Esro, the evil inverse of the Ushkias, and their sworn enemies. Uh Evil Witch. I think it was either that or Skeleton Queen. You don't want to reuse villains if it's not, like, part of a much larger arc, especially if you beat them, because then it's like, oh, cool, Freeze is back. Except for they didn't use Dragon Balls, Freeze is just back. Yeah, I think Batu will really like it. I hope, anyway. Cool. Now let's go get the stepladder, and then we'll do Batu's thing. Uh, this episode looks like it's gonna go a little long because I promised at least one thing of combat. Ah, uh, but combat does take a while. Uh, you know what? No, we made progress. We made a lot of progress. We've done a lot of side quests and we've done a lot of plot growth. I, I don't feel as bad about this episode as I did the last one. I'm really sorry about the last one. Hey there, sorry to bother you, but have you seen a stepladder around here somewhere? Oh, who's asking? Um, me? Then you should know. I've just been made master of props. It's a respect and ancient duty. Can't let just anyone borrow a stepladder. Then there will be a stepladder shortage crisis. This is the voice I was trying to do. 
I couldn't get into it before, but now it's here. Alright. To prove your valor, you must first slay ten mountain lions and bring me their pelts. What? Why? That's terrible. Forget it. I'm not going to hurt any mountain lions. Oh, man. Then how are we going to get the costumes to put on cats? Looks like it's waiting for God for us again. Trust me, you don't want to put on cats. Turns out, not a lot of people dig it when you make it a little too real. There are buttholes on those cats, dude. There are buttholes on those cats. <laughs> Unless there's some other prop you can give me. An eye for an eye, a prop for a prop, quid pro quo. That's a phrase a lot of you learned for the first time if you hadn't seen Silence of the Lambs. Uh, I guess I have the Spirit Week poster I made. Does that count? It's hideous. You didn't draw this with a pad, you did it with a mouse. You call yourself a game developer. It's amazing! This sets the exact right atmosphere we're looking for. For cats. <laughs> Everyone will be so excited. This is going to be the best waiting for Godot ever. Okay, not cats. Oh, um, glad to hear it. It's all yours. Step ladder is yours. Thanks. All right. Oh, can you just give me the step ladder? Or, no, I just go straight there. Okay. Let's go spy on the new wave kids. I think I've actually just turned the standard length of these episodes into 30 minutes. Like, they were supposed to be 15 minutes, and I just, I can't stop at 15 minutes. It feels like not enough gets done. Uh, anyway. Onto the quad? We'll live in a yellow submarine? That's definitely the New Wave Appreciation Club. I heard they had stupid hats. No, they're just really into Devo. I never heard of, even heard of them. Are they a new club? Oh, I think they used to be the Disco Must Die Club. Yeah, on. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I think they used to be the Disco Must Die Club. But then Disco died. Shh, they're starting. Our first order of business is urgent matter. Though. But member Joey had brought it up. Joey, you have the floor. Thanks, Ziggy. The matter is this. Uh, the matter is this. Are the talking heads new wave? Or are they more art funk? You know? That is a good question. What do you consider Oingo Boingo? Because if whatever you consider Oingo Boingo, in my mind, is the same as Talking Heads. Like, they're different bands, obviously. But in my mind, their sound still very similar. Like, Weird Science is very similar in my head to the sound of, um... Uh, 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 oh god, the, the, Psycho Killer, Qu'est-ce que c'est, fa 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 man. Psycho Killer, that's what it's called. Like, I know Weird Science and Psycho Killer sound nothing alike, but in my mind, they just feel the same. Can I bring up that I, wait, can I bring up that I hate these hats? But remember Ripper, there will be time to discuss the club uniform. Now, do you have an opinion on whether the Talking Heads are New Wave? Hellvision is the only real New Wave band. Now, can I take off- can we talk about the Now can I talk about the hats? Why does ba Baphomet have- Why doesn't Baphomet have to wear one? I can read. <laughs> because your entrails would make a fine sacrifice! And it's never too early to start preparing for uh, some- 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 Some main. Wow. She's really mean. Lots well, some valuable information, I guess. I'm sure we can work with that somehow. This is boring. I'm out. What voice did I do for him? Man, she's in a bad mood, even for her. I'd really hate to be- wait, hold on. I'd really hate to be in the quad right now. You know what? Screw it. Can't do it. Can't think of the voice I gave him. Uh, information gather- fully gathered. Scatter! Alright. Cool. Uh... Next, let's do... Well, next time, we'll be doing, uh... His campaign. But for right now, I'm gonna have to say... That's it for this episode. Excuse me. So... 
if you liked this, please like, comment, subscribe. Every little bit helps uh, boost our channel over on the algorithm, which helps people know about our company and thus our games. So please like, comment, subscribe if you can. If you like this uh, uh, and you want to see us doing it live, then please go check out our Twitch channel, twitch.com slash monarchy media. We do it every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, 3 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Central Time. Uh, we are doing Tuesdays and Thursdays for the Pokemon DLC, but that's like, I don't know if that's still going to be going on when this episode goes up. I heard the DLC is kind of short. Um, but who knows? Who knows? I might play it beyond the DLC. Anyway, I'm Matt. This has been Monarchy Media, doing some downtime with devs, playing some Wintermore Tactics Club. Hope to see you all next time, everyone. Have a good one. Bye.